Hello, friends. Today we are going to dive deep into a fascinating and complex question. Do the past, present, and future all exist right now? This intriguing question has captivated scientists, philosophers, and thinkers for centuries. In this video, we'll break down this profound topic into simple and easy to understand concepts that everyone can follow. We'll explore insights from physics and philosophy, making sure every point is explained in detail. Let's get started on this amazing journey. To begin with, let's think about what we mean by the past, present, and future. The past includes everything that has already happened. The present is what is happening right now at this very moment. The future consists of everything that has yet to happen. We often think of these as distinct and separate, with the present being a fleeting moment that moves forward into the future. But some theories suggest that all these moments might exist simultaneously. This idea can be quite puzzling, so let's break it down step by step. First, let's consider how we perceive time. Time feels like a river, continuously flowing from the past through the present and into the future. This flow is something we all experience, but is it really how time works? Some scientists and philosophers suggest that time might not flow at all. Instead, all moments in time might exist together in a block universe. The block universe theory is like thinking of time as a loaf of bread. Imagine the loaf is the entire universe, with each slice representing a different moment in time. Every slice exists at once within the loaf, but we can only see one slice at a time. This means that the past, present and future are all there in the loaf, but our consciousness moves through the slices one by one, giving us the feeling of time flowing. To make this idea clearer, let's delve into some concepts from physics. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity plays a significant role here. Relativity tells us that time and space are interconnected in a four-dimensional fabric called space-time. In this fabric, time is not absolute. It can stretch and squeeze depending on how fast you're moving or how strong gravity is. This leads to some surprising results. One famous example is the twin paradox. Imagine two twins, one stays on Earth while the other travels into space at near light speed. When the traveling twin returns, they find that less time has passed for them compared to the twin who stayed on Earth. This shows that time can be experienced differently depending on your motion. This difference in the passage of time suggests that past, present and future might not be as separate as we think. Einstein himself once said that the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. According to relativity, what one person considers the present, another person moving at a different speed, might consider the past or future. This blurring of time zones indicates that all moments might exist simultaneously in the fabric of space-time. Now let's explore another fascinating concept called Quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics deals with the very small, like atoms and particles. It shows us that at this tiny scale, things don't behave like they do in our everyday world. One strange idea in quantum mechanics is superposition. This means that particles can be in multiple states at once until we observe them. Only when we look, they choose a state. This weird behavior leads some scientists to think that the future might not be fixed. Instead, all possible futures exist until we observe them. This idea is related to the famous thought experiment called Schrodinger's cat. Imagine a cat in a box with a mechanism that can release poison based on a random quantum event. Until we open the box and check, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. This shows how multiple possibilities can coexist until observed. Combining quantum mechanics with relativity gives us even more mind-blowing possibilities. Some physicists suggest that the entire universe is like a giant quantum state, where all possible histories and futures exist together. This is called the many worlds interpretation. 
According to this view, every time a quantum event happens, the universe splits into multiple versions, each representing a different outcome. In one version, you might take a left turn, and in another, you take a right turn. All these versions exist simultaneously, creating a multiverse of possibilities. Now let's move on to the philosophical side of things. Philosophers have pondered the nature of time for centuries. One idea is called eternalism, which fits well with the block universe theory. Eternalism suggests that all points in time are equally real, much like all places in space are real. Just as Paris and New York exist at the same time, so do moments from the past, present and future. We just experience them sequentially. Another philosophical idea is presentism, which argues that only the present is real. According to presentism, the past is gone and the future hasn't happened yet. This view matches our everyday experience, but conflicts with the findings of modern physics. Understanding these different perspectives helps us appreciate the complexity and mystery of time. To grasp these concepts better, Let's think about how we experience time in our daily lives. We remember the past through memories. We experience the present through our senses. And we anticipate the future through our imagination. But these experiences might be limited by our perception. Just as a person watching a movie can only see one frame at a time, we might be seeing just one moment of a much larger picture. To further illustrate, consider a book. When you read a story, each page represents a different moment. You experience the story one page at a time, but all the pages exist together in the book. If you flip to any page, that moment is there, waiting to be read. This analogy helps us understand how past, present, and future might all coexist in a broader sense. Science fiction often explores these ideas, too. Many stories imagine time travel, parallel universes, and alternative realities. These tales captivate our imagination because they challenge our understanding of time. They ask us to consider what it would be like if we could move through time as easily as we move through space. While these stories are fictional, they inspire real scientific inquiry and philosophical debate. Another way to explore the concept of time is through the lens of memory and anticipation. Memory allows us to access the past, reliving moments and learning from experiences. Anticipation lets us imagine the future, setting goals and making plans. Both processes are crucial for navigating the present, as they help us make informed decisions based on what we have learned and what we hope to achieve. This interplay between memory, anticipation and the present moment highlights the dynamic nature of time in our lives. Now let's delve into the idea of time travel, a popular theme in science fiction. Time travel stories captivate us because they explore the possibilities of moving through time differently than we do now. They ask questions like, what if we could visit the past, or can we change the future? These stories often involve paradoxes, such as the famous grandfather paradox, where a time traveler might prevent their own existence by altering the past. While time travel remains a theoretical concept, it encourages us to think creatively about time and its potential. The concept of time travel also brings us to the idea of causality, which is the relationship between cause and effect. In our everyday experience, causes precede effects. You throw a ball, cause, and it moves effect. However, if we could travel through time, this straightforward relationship might become more complex. For example, what if an effect could occur before its cause? These thought experiments challenge our understanding of time and encourage us to explore the deeper principles governing the universe. Now let's explore the concept of time dilation in more detail. Time dilation is a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. It occurs when an object moves at high speeds or is in a strong gravitational field, causing time to pass differently compared to an observer at rest. This effect has been confirmed by experiments such as observing the decay rates of particles moving at high speeds. Time dilation has practical implications for technologies like GPS, which must account for the different rates of time experienced by satellites in orbit and receivers on Earth. 
The concept of time dilation leads us to the idea of black holes, which are regions of space with extremely strong gravitational fields. Near a black hole, time slows down significantly compared to areas with weaker gravity. If you were to approach a black hole, you would experience time passing much more slowly than someone far away. This extreme time dilation creates fascinating scenarios, such as the possibility of seeing the distant future of the universe unfold while only a short time passes for you. The idea of black holes and time dilation brings us to the concept of the event horizon. The event horizon is the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. As you approach the event horizon, time dilation becomes more pronounced. For an outside observer, it would appear as if time slows down for an object nearing the event horizon, eventually seeming to freeze at the edge. This phenomenon raises intriguing questions about the nature of time and space in such extreme conditions. Let's also think about the concept of time in relation to the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. As objects approach the speed of light, time for them slows down relative to stationary observers. This effect has been observed in particle accelerators, where particles moving at near light speeds experience time differently than particles at rest. This relationship between time and the speed of light is fundamental to our understanding of the universe. Now let's explore the concept of entropy, which is a measure of disorder in a system. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy tends to increase over time, leading to the arrow of time, the direction in which time flows. This increase in entropy is why we see processes like ice melting, buildings crumbling and stars burning out. Understanding entropy helps us grasp why time seems to move in one direction and why we cannot reverse processes to return to a previous state. The concept of entropy also connects to the idea of the heat death of the universe. The heat death is a theoretical scenario in which the universe reaches a state of maximum entropy, where all energy is evenly distributed and no work can be done. In this state, the universe would be in thermodynamic equilibrium and time as we know it would cease to have meaning. This scenario raises profound questions about the ultimate fate of the universe and the nature of time itself. As we continue our exploration of time, let's consider the role of consciousness. Our awareness of time is deeply connected to our consciousness. We experience the flow of time through our thoughts, emotions, and sensory perceptions. Some scientists and philosophers argue that time may not exist independently of consciousness, in other words, our perception of time could be a construct of our minds, shaped by how we process information and experience the world. Meditation and mindfulness practices offer insights into how we experience time. These practices encourage us to focus on the present moment, often leading to a sense of timelessness. By quieting the mind and paying attention to the here and now, Practitioners report feeling more connected to the flow of time and less caught up in worries about the past or future. These experiences suggest that our perception of time can be flexible and influenced by our state of mind. Dreams provide another fascinating window into our perception of time. In dreams, time can behave very differently than it does in waking life. Events in dreams can seem to last for hours even though only a few minutes have passed in reality. This distortion of time in dreams highlights the subjective nature of our experience of time and suggests that our brains can create different timelines based on our mental state. Let's also consider the role of memory in shaping our perception of time. Our memories allow us to recall past experiences and create a sense of continuity in our lives. However, memories are not perfect records of the past. They can be influenced by emotions, biases, and new information. This malleability of memory means that our understanding of the past is constantly being reconstructed, influencing how we perceive the present and anticipate the future. Now let's delve into the concept of time in different scientific disciplines. 
In biology, time plays a crucial role in processes like evolution, development and aging. Biological clocks, such as circadian rhythms, regulate the timing of various physiological processes, ensuring that they occur at the right time. Understanding these biological rhythms can help us optimize our health and well-being by aligning our activities with our natural cycles. In geology, time is measured in vast scales, spanning millions and billions of years. The geological timescale divides Earth's history into eons, eras, periods and epochs, providing a framework for understanding the planet's formation, evolution and the development of life. By studying rock layers, fossils and other geological evidence, scientists can reconstruct the history of Earth and gain insights into the processes that have shaped our planet. In cosmology, time is intertwined with the history of the universe. The Big Bang Theory describes the origin of the universe as a singular event that occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been expanding and evolving with galaxies, stars and planets forming over billions of years. By studying the cosmic microwave background radiation and the distribution of galaxies, cosmologists can piece together the timeline of the universe and explore its ultimate fate. In the realm of technology, timekeeping has evolved significantly over the centuries. Early methods of measuring time included sundials, water clocks and hourglasses. The invention of mechanical clocks in the Middle Ages revolutionized timekeeping, allowing for more precise measurements. Today, atomic clocks, which measure time based on the vibrations of atoms, provide incredibly accurate timekeeping, essential for technologies like GPS and global communications. The field of psychology offers further insights into our perception of time. Researchers study how we estimate and experience the passage of time, how our attention and emotions influence our sense of time, and how time perception varies across different age groups and cultures. Understanding these psychological processes can help us develop strategies to manage time more effectively and enhance our well-being. As we delve deeper into the nature of time, Let's consider the philosophical implications of these scientific and cultural perspectives. The question of whether the past, present and future all exist simultaneously challenges our understanding of existence and reality. If all moments in time coexist, what does this mean for concepts like free will, causality and personal identity? If the future is already set, does this mean our choices are predetermined? Philosophers have debated this issue for centuries, exploring different views on determinism and free will. Some argue that even in a block universe, we still have the capacity to make meaningful choices, while others suggest that our sense of agency may be an illusion. Causality, the relationship between cause and effect, is another concept impacted by the idea of simultaneous existence. In a block universe, causes and effects might be seen as part of a single interconnected tapestry rather than distinct events. This perspective challenges our traditional understanding of how events unfold and invites us to explore new ways of thinking about the interconnectedness of the universe. Personal identity is also influenced by our understanding of time. If all moments exist simultaneously, then our past, present and future selves are all part of a continuous existence. This view can deepen our sense of self and our connection to our life experiences. It also encourages us to reflect on how our actions and decisions shape the broader tapestry of our lives. Furthermore, understanding time can also impact our emotional well-being. People often worry about the future or dwell on the past. Realizing that time might be more fluid than we think can help us live more fully in the present. It reminds us that every moment is valuable and that our experiences are part of a grand cosmic dance. Education plays a crucial role in spreading these ideas. Teaching kids about time and the universe in simple terms helps them develop a sense of wonder and curiosity. When children learn that time is not just a ticking clock, but a complex and beautiful concept, it sparks their imagination and interest in science. 
By making these topics accessible, we can inspire the next generation of thinkers and explorers. If past, present and future all exist simultaneously, it changes how we view life and our place in the universe. It suggests that our actions are part of a larger tapestry, interconnected with everything else. This perspective can make us more mindful of our decisions, knowing that each moment is part of an ever-present reality. The question of whether the past, present and future all exist right now is a profound one. It challenges our understanding of time and reality. By exploring theories from physics, ideas from philosophy and analogies from everyday life, we can begin to grasp this complex concept. While we may not have all the answers, the journey of discovery is itself a rewarding adventure. So, regardless of your age, remember that time is a fascinating and multifaceted concept. Every moment, past, present and future is part of the grand story of existence. Keep exploring, keep asking questions and keep seeking knowledge. Together, we'll continue to uncover the wonders of the universe. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about time, space and everything in between, be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Let's embark on this journey of discovery together one moment at a time. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.